London feels alive, alive. All right. You know what else is alive? And that is Chinese coal demand. We got the climate summit going on, but China and India are conspicuously absent, probably because they are the biggest polluters in the world by far. In fact, China polluting more than pretty much every other country in the world combined. Coal imports into China doubling this year from last year. Of course, they had lockdowns. We get it. But look at the price of coal. Now, we are off our highs in early to mid-September. I get that. But we are doubling from where we were one year ago. The price of coal simply has been storing. Soaring, there have been blackouts, some rolling blackouts in some Chinese provinces recently. So really, China is so, guys, de in demand for any power it can. 1.4 billion people, manufacturer to the world, and very little long-term storage that they're buying all the coal they can as well. Now, some American companies are trying to help wean China off its coal habit. Companies like Chenier, Tellurian, privately held Venture Global. They're making huge multi-year and even multi-decade contracts to send U.S. liquefied natural gas into China as well. We earlier spoke with Chenier CEO Jack Fusco, and he basically said that the U.S. can help wean China off of coal because they're more addicted than ever. So what we're seeing is this big switch back from nat gas back to coal. And you, you, you see it in Asia. And the amount of coal that they're burning right now is, 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 is record levels. And uh, that's just not, it's not good for the, um, uh, for the environment in those countries. And it's not good for the world um, overall. Yeah, and investors in these companies have been rewarded. Chenier stock is up. Tellurian stock, look at that. I mean, it's been absolutely on fire this year. And it's hard to believe, guys, but here's the reality. You know, we, we talk about natural gas. We could throw our natural gas price board up, and it'll show, what, five and a half bucks or whatever. That's our cost. China, in some cases, if you have to buy in the spot market, is paying the equivalent of 20 to $25, similar in parts of Europe as well, because there is this crushing demand there's a lack of supply. See, we show five bucks. They're paying 20 to $25 equivalent because it's a global fight. And by the way, it's also Latin America. They've had a drought. Hydropower is down. So natural gas, a lot of it U.S. natural gas, Joe, has become very, very widely in demand. And, and by the way, I'll leave you with this random but interesting stat, which no one's going to like, but it's true. It's not just China. U.S. coal production is up 16%. From the same week last year. I get it, COVID lockdowns, whatever, but still think about that. U.S. coal production is up. 2021 is like the year of the fossil fuel. Hard to believe. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.